I have been very excited lately. I am writing my story. I'm writing the book with a workbook. And the story goes through all the different areas, literal chapters of my life, so to speak. But I've put them into chapters of a book. So we cover pain and suffering, seizures, divorce, living on a budget, parents and family, kids if you have them, jobs and work, moving, friends, government and other forms of support, and coping strategies. These are really, really important. They were really the highlights of my journey. And each one of them, I go through step by step what it looks like when you go through a weeding process, when you're evaluating, when you're saying, what doesn't belong here? When you're taking in good information and learning what it is to say, I can't have this in my life anymore. When you look at something else and say, I need more of that. I need more of this characteristic. And this person has that. I'm going to hang around them more. I'm going to increase my time with them for their influence, for their impact into my life. I'm going to cover different coping strategies. Coping strategies are so pivotal. They're so important earlier on. Before you get to this stage where you can quickly analyze and uproot and weed through what doesn't belong in your life and weed and seed really quickly, you need to have coping strategies, really good, healthy coping strategies. And, oh folks, you know my kids, they're so important to me. And if you don't know me, my kids have been, honestly, the main reason I began this journey to begin with. They have remained as part of my shaping, uh, what I am shaping my life to be because Guys, we're all growing up. It doesn't matter what age you are, we're all in different levels and stages of maturing. And different areas of our life, we're at different stages of our maturity levels. Sometimes we're really good interpersonally, other times not so much. And it changes from person to person. So it's about evaluation, being able to honestly look at it and then ask yourself, evaluate. Do I want to stay here? If I don't, what do I do about it? That's the story. That's the story behind this book. I really, really, really hope with all my heart that you read this book. I pray that it transforms your thinking about where you're at, the stages of your life, the things that you're impacted by. I hope and pray with everything in me that it'll help you to evaluate, to reevaluate things and look at them through a different lens. Look at them through the lens of hope.